Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Head out, all of our stuff is in here. I mean, the three of our stuff. We usually pack together, and then um, Tummy has his own bag. So, we're all set. It's about a three hour drive from where we are to Port Canaveral. So, we're ready to go. We actually thought we were pro cruisers, and this would be like any other cruise. But it turns out we are Disney Cruise noobs. This is what we learned. Disney requires all guests ages five and up to be fully vaccinated prior to their sale date. They will provide you a link via email to a third party vendor where you provide your vaccination card digitally for screening. You will also have to take a COVID test at the port. As of March 11th, 2022, Disney removed the mask requirements for sailing. However, the parking lot and port at the dock follow the CDC guidelines, so we needed to wear masks there, but remove them when we were on board. I know, COVID still has a way of complicating things. We included a link to their latest guidelines in the video description below. All right, y'all, you ready for our COVID tests? <laughs> I love it. The main reason we chose to try a Disney cruise was because they offered a 35% discount for Florida residents. If you are from out of state, you can still get this discount if someone in your party is a Florida resident and they purchase the tickets. We also included the link to Disney's latest discounts in the video description. Our cruise's duration was four days and three nights with stops in Nassau, Bahamas and Castaway Key, which is a Disney-owned exclusive island. The Disney Cruise app is designed to be your one-stop shop cruise companion. We really wished we became more familiar with it before the cruise. With the Disney Cruise app, you can complete your embarkation drills, plan for your meals, see the activity schedule and excursions and much more. You can also chat through the ship's Wi-Fi with your party. This feature is great if your friends or family are scattered all over the ship. You also get notifications on your mobile devices, which came in handy when the start time of our Bahamas excursion was changed from 1 p.m. to 9 a.m. We met some seasoned Disney Cruise members who mentioned that they also had to get used to the app and its functionalities instead of printed itineraries and menus. We usually get an interior room because we spend very little time in it. 
This time we got an ocean veranda room which was almost double the size of what we're used to. It transforms from a large bedroom with a living area during the day into bunk beds with a curtain divider at night. The kids loved the nightly surprise towel animals Clive made for them. Having a balcony is helpful if you have motion sickness or just appreciate fresh air. Disney gives lanyards for your room key to second time cruisers. So bring your own lanyard with a plastic case, unless you want to spend $18 each in the Disney shop. Unlimited ice cream cones. <laughs> Need we say more? This is a big hit with both kids and adults and has been one of the most memorable aspects of all of our cruising experiences. It really is the simple things. They have chocolate and vanilla and then add new flavors each day. The concierge service delivers your luggage to your room. So bringing a swimsuit or change of clothes in your backpack or carry-on is good for jump-starting vacation mode. There are two main pools for the kids and another two for adults only with a couple of hot tubs around the main deck. The Aqua Duck ride is the main entertainment ride on the ship as you get to ride on an inflatable tube in an enclosed tube that runs around the ship. It always takes a while to get used to the layout of the ship, so it was really cool that the kids got a detective game to help familiarize themselves on navigating the ship. The game was a blast, not just for us, but all the families we met on board. The ship has quite a few different shopping options, from clothes to jewelry, art, cruise exclusive Disney merch, as well as food and candy. We had the kids shop on a budget and they really enjoyed the hunting good? for memorable finds. Good. 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 We enjoyed most of our meals at Cabana's, which provides buffet sale breakfast and lunch. You can also enjoy those meals at specialty restaurants, but usually for an additional fee. Dinner rotations were a new experience for us, as all our previous cruise experiences had freestyle dining for all three meals. We'll cover the dinner rotations in more detail later in this video. Disney's Oceaneers Kids Club is amongst the best cruise kids clubs we've experienced. The staff are courteous, kind, and energetic. We really liked that the kids could check in on their own and then we had the option of allowing them to check out by themselves or with an accompanying adult. Tommy checked out the Edge Club for 11 to 14 year olds, but decided he loved dominating at Foursquare in the kids club best. <laughs> Around the ship, you do see locations that are designed specifically for 18 plus only. Disney does a decent job in creating both kid and adult only oriented spaces but we found adult entertainment really lacking, unless you're into whiskey tasting or Marvel trivia. We arrived at Nassau, Bahamas at 7 a.m. and thankfully had a really great breakfast before attending an information session on our excursion. It was nice to see a lot of ships at the dock as the Bahamian economy depends largely on tourism. We were informed that if we decided to go into the city of Nassau, masks were required despite not needing them on the ship. COVID is still an issue and each country has their own rules and guidelines. Our 
Our catamaran excursion group made the leisure ride to Pearl Island really entertaining. There we went snorkeling and saw some sea life. They did have complimentary water, but no snacks or food were included. So again, thankful for the great breakfast before we left. That leads to the next tip. Bring your own refillable water bottle when packing. You can use it on the ship and excursions. Book your excursions as soon as you book your cruise. Popular ones often sell out fast. Each night they had a live show exclusive to the ship in the theater. Each show had two show times. Tammy and I saw the play Believe on the first night, but the kids missed it because they were in kids club and the later showing conflicted with our dinner time. Again, we were still figuring out the app and dinner rotations. The second night they had a premiere showing of Turning Red and the final night a live performance of Beauty and the Beast. So tip number eight is choose show times that complement your dinner time. Castaway Key is Disney's exclusive private island in the Caribbean. We bought the extreme excursion package, which included a bike rental, snorkeling in the lagoon, tube riding, and a stingray experience. Due to a cold front that came through while we were there, we could not feed the stingrays, but we still had a great time swimming with them and touching them. The biking trail was really nice, especially since it was a bit chilly and windy that day. The path is also used for a 5k running or walking trail. We stopped to climb the tower, which is the highest point on the island, for some pictures and to enjoy the view. The beachfront has a lot of fun slides and activities for the kids. After having lunch at one of the included buffets, we honestly just found some chairs to relax in and set the kids free. They loved it, as did we. Tip number nine, choose a dinner time that fits your family's regular schedule. The dinner rotation was honestly the most challenging aspect for us to get used to. When we booked our cruise, only the later time was available, which meant we were seated at 8.05 and ended up getting our entrees closer to 9 p.m. Typically, the earlier dinner time is for families with younger kids and the later for older kids or adults. So it was fitting that we were at that time, but we're just used to eating a lot earlier. Despite that, we liked how each dining room had a different theme and was somewhat of an interactive experience. Raise your right fin and repeat after me, idiots. I. I. State your name. State your name. Right, we have some clownfish in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> Promise to be awesome. Promise to be awesome. All the time. All the time. And whenever I hear, and whenever I hear, the word awesome, the word awesome, I will shout, I will shout, dude, dude. You'll get a fair share of seeing your favorite Disney characters on the ship. The Disney app has a section for times when specific characters are available for pictures. On the last day of the cruise, there was a dance party with main characters on the main deck. 
This was followed by fireworks, which had us asking if the Disney magic is really real. Tammy says it is, as his iPhone watch face automatically changed to the Mickey faceplate while we were on board. We invite you to go on your own Disney cruise to find out if the magic is real. Our goal is to inspire families to create their own adventures around the world or in their own backyard. Find links to some of our recent travels on the screen and we look forward to going on the next one with you.